the Gospel Reflection of the Day from the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. As the day begins, listen, reflect and live the Word of God, the best food ever for the storm. Welcome to Wednesday, 20th September 2023, the 24th week in Ordinary Time. The theme of our reflection is the rejection of John the Baptist and Jesus. Today, the church celebrates the memorial of Saints Andrew Kim and his companions, martyrs. We honor this group of 103 martyrs from Korea who gave their lives during the persecution of the 19th century. We pray that we may profit always from their example of heroic faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 7, verses 31 to 35. At that time, Jesus said, For John the Baptist has come eating no bread and drinking no wine, and you say, He has a demon. The Son of Man has come eating and drinking, and you say, Behold, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom is justified by all her children. The Gospel of the Lord. John the Baptist had preached a baptism that helped the people to prepare themselves in order to welcome the Messiah that God sent after him. Some had accepted his message, but others, especially the religious leaders, had not accepted it. Accepting John's message of conversion would have meant a radical change in the lives of the listeners, especially the religious leaders. They find reasons not to accept him. However, these reasons are not valid. Although Jesus taught and acted with authority that was more than human authority, some still had doubts as to whether he was to be believed as the Messiah. Jesus' welcoming attitude, especially to the poor and the outcasts of society, was too much for them. They therefore find reasons not to accept him and his teachings. However, these reasons are not valid. When we want to believe somebody, we find good reasons not to do so. We need an openness of mind and heart and will towards God and the people he puts on our path. My dear friend, what are some of the reasons that you use in order not to feel obliged to accept Jesus' message today? Let us pray. Almighty God, you sent John the Baptist to be a precursor to your son. And when your son came among us, John the Baptist presented him to us. May we listen to the voice of John the Baptist to receive your word, who is Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise be Jesus Christ. You've been listening to the Gospel Reflection for today from the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. Remember to listen, reflect and live the Word of God, the best food ever for this world.